Well, Texas travel blogger Jessica Cerna, better known as My Curly Adventures, has some great ideas for some maybe last minute spring break or spring getaways. And she joins us live this morning with a travel show and tell. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me again. I appreciate it. All right. So take us on this trip. We're going to start by heading south on Interstate 35 to the town of Clifton. Yes, Clifton, I feel like it's just such a hidden gem that not a lot of people know about, but it's got this very unique Norwegian heritage. They also have a really unique jail cell that you could sleep in. So this is kind of where used to be people who were drunk would sleep off the night, but now you can go there and actually get out the next morning. And there are just so many other activities to do as well. They've got a safari ranch. You can go and feed animals and see all of them. And if you want even more time out in nature, right on Lake Whitney is Walling Bend Park. And this is a beautiful park to go out and enjoy, like a picnic with the family or anything else you might want to do by the water. Uh, a while back, my family went uh, camping in the Texas Hill Country. So we are a big fan of that area, and so are you, but specifically, you say Wimberley. Yes, Wimberley is a wonderful place. You know, they have been hit by the drought, uh, but there's still so many things to go here. and. People are ready to welcome visitors. I mean, one of the first places is Utopia that I think about. I mean, you can just see how gorgeous this place is. You get your own little private tub and an outdoor kitchen. There is Blue Hole, which is a really popular swim spot. It is a little unsure about if people will be able to stay there or not, but they are looking promising so far. And the downtown itself is just such a fairy tale. It feels so enchanting as you're walking down, visiting all the different shops and seeing all the activities. It really is a great place and then driving east out of dfw you also found a retreat in the pines yes yeah, so if you are looking for a woman's only adult retreat you know spring break for yourself uh, a little recharge retreat in the pines is a wonderful thing to do so you can go out and they've got different intentions that you can do with activities and it's all nutritious meals you get to do yoga just really relax and connect with people and it's a great refresh especially if you're thinking about going back into the work week and then grab your cowboy hat driving southeast of town you found a great ranch getaway yes in palestine texas dead can't wretch funny name but great little place um and it's really to get that outdoor ranch experience i mean you're going to go ride atvs you ride horses stay in a little cabin you're getting that whole experience and then there's so many things to do outside as well so you can go and visit the texas state railroad and go ride that train and i mean while you're there you absolutely have to stop by oxpool pies this place is not only adorable but it is famous as this little east texas town pie shop and as someone who's not crazy about pies i have to say these are incredible Dead cat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Finally, not far from Houston, you found all kinds of fun in Conroe. Yes. I mean, there's so much to do in Conroe. I mean, you'll have to check out our blog at Bike Adventures because there is just so much there. But we've got a couple highlights, such as Happy Goat Retreat, where you get to stay in this little container home and then go out and feed goats. Of course, this is home to our Margaritaville, which is an incredible water area. It's got all the different pools. And then you can even visit a tiki boat and go and ride out on the water. And so that is just a really unique experience. And one thing that people might not know about East Texas, apart from the Hill Country, everyone thinks about the Hill Country for wine. But East Texas has a lot of wineries as well. And so I definitely recommend people go out and experience some of those East Texas wineries for a whole different palette. Very cool. And in the picture there, that did look like a happy goat. Yeah. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, uh, Jennifer Cerna. We appreciate it. Uh, you can find a link to more travel inspiration and her website, My Curly Adventures, on our website, fox4news.com. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.